Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. Today's video will be part two of our two-part series on creating a C-sharp Selenium page object framework. Let me know if you like this style of video by hitting the like button down below. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And with that out of the way, let's get to what we'll be covering today. So in our previous video, we went over how to add our dependencies and our driver configurations. We went over by adding our dependencies. We then added our local driver builder, our wrappers.webdriver factory, our browser target, and our common utilities. In today's video, we're going to actually finish our framework. And we're going to do so by adding our base test, we're going to create a test directory, then we're going to create a page objects directory, create a home page class, and then create the test method. And finally, we will run our test and verify that it works. So we're going to start off by creating our base test by right-clicking Selenium Tests, click Add, click New File, and then we're going to enter Base Test as the name of the file. Click New. Now we're going to add our dependencies at the top, starting with using inunit.framework. Then we're going to do using openqa.selenium. Then we're going to be using selenium tests dot selenium utils now we can get rid of this generated code here so first we're going to add our test fixture so we're going to do test fixture Inside the parentheses, we're going to pass browser target.chrome, because that is our targeted browser. Then we're going to do public abstract class base test. Inside there, we're going to do a protected local driver builder, and then we're going to call that builder. Now we're going to do another protected string starting URL, then we'll do a protected string epoch start time, then we'll do a protected string target browser, then we'll do a protected common utils, and we'll call that common utils equals new common utils. Then we'll do a protected base test. And inside there we'll pass string browser. Within that base test, we're going to start off with this dot target browser equals browser. Then this dot epoch start time equals date time offset dot now dot two unix time milliseconds dot two string now we're going to do a public i web driver we're going to call this initialize driver so this will be the method that we call from all of our tests to initialize the driver Inside there, we're going to do local driver builder. Call that builder equals new local driver builder. Then we'll do this dot starting URL equals HTTP. And we're going to enter our test URL. So we're going to use google.com for that. Now we're going to create a var driver equals builder dot launch and inside there we're going to pass our target browser comma this dot starting URL then we're going to simply return driver. Oh, and it looks like we're having an issue with our local driver builder. 
So if I had to guess, it's probably in the local driver builder. So we're going to go to that file. Oh, yep. Uh, at the top, I actually forgot to include a public local driver builder so we could access it. So we'll do a public local driver builder. This inside there, we'll do new web driver factory and close that parentheses and add parentheses at the end and we'll close that off and that should fix our local driver builder issue. We'll save that and go back to our base test and as you can see it looks like it's fixed and we should be good here. So now we can go ahead and create our directory. So we'll start with creating our test directory by going to selenium tests, new add, we'll call it tests, click add, and then we'll add another one for page objects. Click add. So now let's add our page objects file by right clicking page objects, clicking add, clicking new file, and we'll simply call this home page, click new, Let's add our dependencies at the top. So we'll be doing using openqa.selenium, using openqa.selenium.support.ui. Then we can get rid of this default code here. We'll start with class homepage. Inside there, we'll do iWebDriver driver. Then we'll do WebDriver wait, call it wait. Then we'll create a public home page and pass in iWebDriver driver. Inside there, we'll do this dot driver equals driver. Then this dot wait equals new web driver wait. And we'll pass in our driver and time span dot from seconds. And we'll pass in a 60 second wait time. Next, we'll create our elements. So we'll do an iWeb element search field. Inside there, we'll do a git and return driver.findElement by.name. And then we'll simply pass in the name of our element, which is Q for this scenario. So now that we have our element defined, we will create a method that uses that element. So we'll do public void enter search text. We'll pass in a string called search term. And we'll do a wait dot until x equals or is greater than search field dot send keys. And we'll pass in our search term. And we'll do search field dot send keys. And then do keys dot return to press the return button. And that's it for the page class. Next, we'll create our tests. So we'll right-click on tests, click Add, New File. We'll simply call this Example Test. We'll get rid of this using statement because we don't need it, so, and we'll add our own. So we'll do using inunit dot framework. Then we'll do using 
selenium tests dot page objects we'll get rid of this sample code we'll create public class and call it example tests we'll inherit from base test inside there we'll do public example test pass in a string or browser then we'll do base pass in browser Then we'll pass in a test fixture. Then we'll do a category. We'll name the category and we'll do public void our test name, which will be test underscore search page. And inside there is where we'll write our test steps. So we'll be doing using var driver equals initialize driver. Then we'll do a try statement. So we'll do try And then we're going to create an instance of our home page. So we'll do home page, home page equals new home page, and pass in the driver. Then we'll do home page dot enter search text. And we'll enter the search text that we want to search on Google. So we'll do QA underground GPT 3. It's a great video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on our channel. And then finally, after our try statement, we'll pass in what we want to do at the end. So we'll do common utils dot print logs in case there's any browser logs that we want to capture. And then we'll pass in browser comma driver to print logs. And that's it. So we're going to save this. We're going to switch to the test layout so we can see it. We're going to rebuild our project here just to make sure everything's good. And then we're simply going to right click on our tests and run the test. So perfect. As you can see, it worked. Everything seemed to function as expected. Uh, and that is your first Selenium C Sharp test. In today's video, we covered on how to create a base test, create the test and page object directories, and then create the home page class and the test method that would utilize the home page class. We then ran the test and verified that it worked. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button on the way out as we upload lots of testing related videos each week on a wide range of topics from integrating AI into testing to setting up automation frameworks in multiple languages. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.